Warning, please do not attempt this at home. Running is very high impact and can cause long-term injury. This was my decision as I wanted to challenge myself mentally and physically. It's best to have a base level of running training before attempting any kind of endurance run. All right, so here we are at the Ultra London. Uh, this is about a week after my marathon attempt. Uh, my knees, I've got these straps for them. So I'm hoping that uh, they'll help me through this race. This is actually 55 k's. It's about 13 kilometers more than what I did around the running track. I wasn't satisfied with the marathon and I wanted to do something a little bit more challenging. So we'll see how the knee holds up and we'll give this one a crack. Let's do it. <laughs> to avoid bonking. If you want to know about uh, Cliff products are vegan. So just for your information, Cliff bars, Cliff gels, vegan friendly. Just went start times. Where am I? Oh. Arrive at the start line at 7.45 and start at 8 a.m. I wanted, I was ready to start at 3 a.m. <laughs> Start walking at the start, eh? <laughs> <laughs> well, you're, you're only doing 55. Yeah, that's it. Right? Already, it's already gonna hurt. <laughs> Am I good to go? No. Never. <laughs> London deserved its own ultra marathon. We put it on and you guys answered the call, so thank you very much for your support. But it is an urban ultra, so we've got areas uh, where it's out in the wild, but it's also on the streets. Three, five, four, three, two, one. Have a bike back here? Yeah. I know what's coming up. <laughs> I'm going to do about a seven minute pace. Uh, I reckon that's smart. Seven or eight minutes at the start. I'd rather hold this like this for the whole time. Feel my knee already, eh? Really? A little bit. Got bad knee pain, eh? Huh? I got knee pain. Really? Yeah. yeah, my knee's hurting. Really bad? I need some water. Uh, my knee's already uh, causing problems. It's only two kilometers in. Let's see if this helps. Alright. Here you go. Fifty kilometers to go. I've already strapped my knee up. <laughs> We'll see how long it lasts. <laughs> Cause I'm already limping, you know what I mean? Yeah. But I reckon I can just, I don't know, I'm just gonna fucking push past the pain, pain barrier, I reckon. I'm gonna try to run this with knee pain. It hurts, yeah. but I, I don't know if it hurts enough for me to stop. I'm gonna try to overcome this pain barrier and see what I can do, you know? Because if it just, if it feels like this for most of the time, I think it's possible, you know? I've this knee pain since I started basically. It's making me think like when I was in the dairy farm in Israel, the dairy cows, they had, they were limping. They had these sores on their legs that were getting infected by their, their own 
feces and they're like forced to suffer you know like right now if i wanted to i'm allowed to stop you know and i can stop the suffering but the animals don't have a choice they have to suffer they, they don't have it their, their life is suffering like um when you think of a pig in a farrowing crate suffering their, their whole existence is suffering you know and i put animals through suffering i ate their body parts i i paid for their them to be in those crates i paid for them to be in those slaughterhouses i paid for their suffering you know it's just putting my knee into perspective all right we're just 16 kilometers in my knee's causing me a lot of pain but i'm hoping to just push through the pain I just saw a cemetery and it made me think uh, about the impending fact that we're all gonna die, you know? Like that's the only thing guaranteed in life. Part of my, um, the reason I changed my life around and tried to give back doing my activism and creating a positive impact was this sense that, you know, I'm going to die and is that what I wanna leave behind? It was crazy, it was like every time I fell asleep and woke up, I was like, oh my God, am I still alive? Like, what am I doing? What am I doing every day to leave a, leave a positive impact? Because the impact that I'd left up until I was about 26 wasn't good at all. The impact that I left in people's lives was very negative and people, I heard a lot of people around me. It caused a lot of suffering. It caused animals a lot of suffering. When I sobered up, I was reflecting and ashamed of all of that and a very deep sense of shame and regret. And I was like, well, am I gonna leave this earth? and leave that as my legacy. Well, a drug addict, a violent gang member, intimidating my friends, intimidating my family, intimidating people around me, causing people suffering. Is that what I want to leave behind? And that was, that was the driving force behind my activism, my advocacy, trying to help animals, trying to inspire people to change their lives. I thought I want to leave a positive mark. I can't let this leave be the, the memory of me that's left behind. All right, we're reaching the halfway point. I'm too focused, I don't really want to talk. Go on, Tim. I need um, some gels. Sure, I'll get them for you. Which way? Okay, so we're getting to the halfway point of the ultra marathon and I'm limping, my knee's in extreme pain. Uh, the reason I didn't want to stop is because I felt that if I stopped, my knee might lock up. So I felt that if I just kept up the, this pace and was careful when I was crossing the roads and um, made sure I looked after it, that I could uh, run the whole distance. So I was just absolutely determined and really inspired by Fiona Oakes. I uh, interviewed her a couple of days before and just trying to get over the pain barrier by just shifting my perception, just looking at my pain and looking at other people's or other animals' pain and seeing that my pain wasn't really that bad and that was what was helping me drive through. It was really just a mind game, really, like how long can I put up with this pain for? And I realised that I was actually capable of much more than I at first thought. Look at the map. This is insane. <laughs> so we did all of this, and this is left. So we have about 15 kilometers to go.
10k, come on. Hell yeah, Joe. <laughs> He's a fucking beast. Forty four point four? Yeah, forty four point four case. Four four four. Yeah. You're gonna finish. I it. just don't wanna stop. You're not gonna knees. Stop. <laughs> you My won't. knees are really hurting me. I know, I know. I'm gonna get stuff. When it hurts, you gotta go harder, not back off. Let's go. That's what your brain's telling you to back off. When you you gotta go against it. Go against what your brain's telling you. Fuck it. Hey. <laughs> looking good, looking good. Thank you. My knee's real fucked up. Come on. This is the last part. The last part? Yeah. Let's go. This is Richmond Park. Whew. Jump, come on. <laughs> I don't care about the pain anymore, eh? Good. Drop it, it's okay. Go, go. Come on, man. It's the last bit. Let's go. Uh. I know. Make it to the finish line, that's it.
Knees looking up. It's 480 meters. Figure that. It's just around the corner. We're gonna get there. Uh, take your time, take your time, it's okay. The, my kneecap is locking up. Like I've been able to put up with the pain the whole time. Something happened, man, eh? I'm gonna try to get up. Do you want me to help? Uh, I'm going to see if I can walk 100 metres. Let's go uh, It's fucking amazing. I just went until I couldn't go anymore. I know. There's nothing left in me, man, eh? I know. Oh, my stomach is cramping up bad. Come on, man. You made it. That was absolutely brutal. I feel extremely sick and my knee is in extreme pain. Um, I'd like to dedicate that run to the Fiona Oaks Foundation. And I don't know how she does it. She's an absolute beast.